Hi, this is Jason Debler from CamaroZ28.com, and I'm going to show you how to install sequential turn signals on a 2010 Camaro. It's pretty easy. I got it from AfterthoughtsAuto.com, and uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. The first thing to do after popping the trunk is to remove these little plastic pins, and it's pretty simple. You just need a standard uh, flat blade screwdriver, and you can gently put it fitted under there. Almost going to do. There we go. Once you get it that far out, just pull it out like that. Once you get all three of the center pins out, all you have to do is gently lift off the plastic piece and it takes the other pins with it. And that exposes the taillight assembly. Once you have the cover off, it's going to, as I said, expose the taillight assembly. And of course you have two taillights, one here and one here. You want to work with the outer one, or if it's the right side, it'd be the one on the far right. You want to work with the bulb that's back here, and I've already removed it. It's a little tricky to get to, but once you get it out, that's when you can install the module. Once you get the bulb assembly out, you want to identify the black ground wire, which is right here. And the instructions that are supplied with the kit I say to do it with a black zip tie. And then remove the bulb from the, from the assembly. Now here's the part where we assemble the harness. And it's pretty simple. We keep an eye on the ground wire that we marked with the zip tie and the black arrow that comes on the weather resistant cup here. We want to insert the two together just like you would the bulb with the arrow on the side of the ground wire. And it just kind of pops into place. You want to make sure that the seal of this red cup goes all the way around. And if you really want to take some extra time, put some duct tape or electrical tape around it just to make sure it creates a good seal. Just like that. And once you have that all secure, and the electrical tape is optional, it doesn't even say to do it in the instructions, but I did it for good measure. Just take the original bulb, put it into the end of the new socket, just like that and then we'll move it right back into the original location. Once complete, it, uh, it's pretty simple. I mean, you're really just interrupting the signal to make it uh, sequential. And then we're going to button everything up the same way we unbuttoned it. Simply put the uh, original back in place. And pop the center pins back in, nice and easy. And you're done. And this is what it looks like when the turn signal is now on. You'll see that this one fires just before this one does, indicating, hey, we're turning left. as opposed to the non-sequential side. Overall, it's a pretty simple operation. Um, it takes about 10 minutes per side if you kind of take your time and make sure you do it right. Um, it's about $90. Um, I got mine from afterthoughtsauto.com. Um, you can get more information there or uh, from the manufacturer at webelectricproducts.com. Uh, they come with full instructions, makes it really easy, diagrams everything. Um, once you get uh, both sides done, button everything up, test it, make sure it looks good, and uh, go cruising.